Okay, so I think I'm recording now. Yes. Okay, so I want to talk about how you're going to be able to save information about your organelle while reading our textbook here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up the textbook. And then we should see here, okay, yeah. So this highlight thing is actually exactly what I was going to talk about. You can highlight, take notes, make your own study guides, and it's all free. So we are on uh, topic 4.3 in the textbook. That's where we need to be. Uh, if we log in, then you can make highlights that you can save later. So go ahead and log in. You can log in with Google. I already have an account with my OUSD, but I'm going to do it with a different one just so you can see that process uh, if it's new. So there we go. Logging in. I'm going to say I'm a student. I'm going to say that I am Abby example student. So I can remember that for the next time I have to do this. I do not want a newsletter, but I am going to have to agree to the terms of policy. All right, and so now we're signed in, ready to go. So I'm going to finish here. Now I should be back on section 4.3 of the textbook. Uh, this is all good information that tells us about like what the connections are between this topic and other topics that you're going to learn about. It gives you sort of a motivation for why we want to read about this. So this is about eukaryotic cells and their organelles. They possess many features that prokaryotic cells lack, blah, 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 blah. Maybe I'm going to start reading this and I'm going to say like, oh, a nucleus with a double membrane that encloses DNA. Maybe I think that's important. So I can highlight that here. And then I could say, this is an example of an organelle. And then if I save that, I should now be able to see that wherever I go. If I keep going, then I could see something here about the hypothesis that eukaryotic cells evolved from prokaryotic cells. I can't quite see that because of the notes right now. But here, I'll highlight that all the way to here. It's talking about how mitochondria and chloroclasts feature characteristics of independently living prokaryotes. Maybe I think that's a kind of different kind of key idea that's not necessarily about our organelles for today, but that's very interesting. So maybe I'm gonna put it in green and say like, wow, I never knew that. And then I can save it. And then what you can do here you can look at your highlights and then you can see saved everything that you've highlighted. So what I want you to do while you're working on this uh, project is as you read, I want you to make sure that the highlights that you're doing are focused on your organelle and the information you will need in order to complete your dating profile. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.